Hi, hello there. My name is Kayla and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Today's video is going to be a little different than anything I've ever done before. Today's video is definitely inspired by Smokey Glow Hannah and Abby Williamson. I will link their channels down below so you can go check out their videos if you if you haven't already. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about products that I will and will not be purchasing slash supporting. You heard that right. I am bitter. With that being said, I would like to add a disclaimer. These are just products. They are not people. Well, one of them might. We'll get into that later. This is just my opinion. If you want to go out and buy this stuff, you totally can. I'm not stopping you, okay? Okay, this is just my opinion. Now with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about products that I will and will not be buying. I'm just going to tell you right now, there's going to be a lot more nays in this video than there will be slays because I am bitter. So first up on our list, Tom Ford has come out with new eyeshadow quads for the low, low price of, any guesses? Any guesses? The low, low price of $88 for four eyeshadows. <laughs> these colors don't even look like revolutionary. I'm pretty sure I have all these colors already in other palettes. I have absolutely no excuse to buy this. The only reason people would buy this is for the name Tom Ford on the packaging. But yeah, enough said. Like, why, why do they charge so much for this? Is part of it going to to stop world hunger or something it doesn't say on like why i don't need this and i'm not buying it nay nay tom ford next on our list l'oreal paris is releasing a new air volume mascara it comes in this really pretty pink metallic balloon shape and it says here it protects and seals in the airy formula smudge and flake resistant it's gonna retail for $13.96. I absolutely love the L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise Mascara, so I think I'm gonna be trying this out to see, you know, if it's good. The before and after pictures are pretty good, but aren't they on all mascaras, you know? But yeah, I think I'll pick this up and try it out. So that would, uh, that would be a sleigh. Next up on our list, Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with lip stains. No, I don't need these. The, the color, some of these colors do look really pretty, but I just don't need a lip stain. They're also coming out with eyebrow pens. I've had some luck with eyebrow pens, but for the most part, they just dry up after like two uses and you don't get to use them anymore. Looks like it'll retail for $22, both the eyebrow pens and the lip stains. So I may try out the brow pen, maybe, but the lip stain, Nay, nay. Nikita Dragon's coming out with the eyeshadow palette. There are five shades, one of which looks like it's a like a tan brown. One of them looks like an orange color that matches her, um, her color correcting concealer. That orange one that looks ridiculous. <coughs> mm, it's a gimmick. Anyways, <laughs> there's also a purple shade, a looks like an inner corner highlight shade, and a sort of sparkly lavender color. The eyeshadow pans are shaped like little eggs and it comes in a like looks like a lavender purple packaging. This is very on brand for Nikita Dragon. The eggs are her the little dragon eggs in the purple color I think is very on brand for her. There's a good amount of issues I have with this. First of all, she included a mirror in the eyeshadow palette and this looks like the most sorry excuse for a mirror ever. It is literally like this big and like this long. That's what she said. If you're gonna put a mirror this small in an eyeshadow palette, what's what's the point? I think she should have just left it out altogether. With that being said, I will not be buying this just because I don't like the palette, uh, but because I don't support Nikita Dragon. I believe that purchasing from her brand is further condoning her irresponsible, terrible behavior. And I really don't get it, you guys. Are influencers immune to the big Rona? Like, what? Did I miss something? Anyways, I will not be buying anything from her brand. I will not be buying this eyeshadow palette and I will not be buying her liquid lipsticks. Not happening. Next up on our list, we have ColourPop. 
So, <laughs> I was going to add the ColourPop Wild Nothing collection in this video, but literally two hours ago, they just dropped another collection. Both of the collections look absolutely stunning. There were some mixed opinions on the Wild Nothing collection. Some people said it looked absolutely beautiful. Some people said these eyeshadows looked like been done before by ColourPop. I personally think the palette is beautiful. I have watched other people review it and it honestly looks a lot better in the reviews that I watched than in the ColourPop pictures that they post on their website. With that being said, a few hours ago they just dropped the new Garden Vanity collection. I guess this is like the sister to the Wild Nothing collection. This is like a succulent sort of themed palette. This collection consists of a eyeshadow palette, four pressed powder blushes, four luxe lip oils, four jelly munch shadows, soul body warm glow oil, three velour scrunchies. I am a scrunchie yeah. I love scrunchies. Mm. Even the scrunchies in this collection look cute. Do I already have scrunchies that are velvet in these colors? Yes. Do these look a little bit more luxury? Yes. It also consists of a Misty Morning Mist mini kit. What? As far as this collection goes, I really like the eyeshadow palette. I really like a couple of the shades of the blushes, the lip oils, I like a few shades of the lip oils. Scrunchies, I like, I like the scrunchies. The glow oil, I think it may be a little bit too dark on my skin tone, but it does look very nice. And the Fresh AF and the Glisten Up mist. I don't need them. They're probably just going to make my face even oilier than it already is. I do not need the dew. I do not want the dew. I want matte, not glow. No, no, no to the glow. No to the glow. Whew. So here's a palette, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't see Trend Mood post anything about this palette. This is probably the one thing I am the most hyped for, and I already purchased. This is the Bailey Sarian Estate Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I love Bailey Sarian. I watch her videos as soon as she posts them. I think she's a fabulous, fabulous person. And I'm so excited she's finally releasing an eyeshadow palette with Estate Cosmetics. Eyeshadow palette looks absolutely beautiful. You have a nice gold color, a peachy color, a warm orange red, an orange a tan suede, a really pretty like almost rose gold silver color. I don't I don't I don't know how to describe it. Just absolutely beautiful purple, a sparkly red and a sparkly brown shade. This eyeshadow palette is absolutely beautiful and I don't see enough people talking about it. So if you have Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, this will be coming in your Ipsy Glam Bag. I just have the regular Ipsy Glam Bag. You can go to the Ipsy app and like add this to your add-ons for $12. Yeah, $12. Oh, it's sold out. So this eyeshadow palette actually just sold out on the Estate Cosmetics website. It doesn't show me how much it typically retails for, so yeah. But I am getting this in my Ipsy Glam Bag and I'm so excited about that. And yeah, this is the one thing I'm super hyped about. I am like so happy for Bailey Sarian. I've, I'm so proud of her. Next up on our list, we have uh, Morphe 2. Morphe dropped like a little side brand called Morphe 2 if you haven't already seen it. In this brand they have like lip glosses, it looks like some cream eyeshadows and skin tint and a couple brushes. This is more geared for like Generation Z. This is like the makeup, no makeup look. Do I think that they kind of ripped off Glossier? Glossier, Glossier, whatever. Yeah, the packaging looks super similar to Glossier, which we all know is, is like the makeup, no makeup brand. The D'Amelio sisters are sponsoring this, and I gotta say, in their little YouTube video of them using the products, they seemed absolutely like unenthusiastic about the products. It's just because it's all so light and natural and not sticky, but um, yeah. And I think we both have the same favorites. 
because I didn't even know how to put them on. I believe Morphe could have gotten a better ambassador for this, maybe a person of color instead of the two most popular TikTokers on the internet right now. I don't know, they just didn't seem enthusiastic about it, they didn't know how to use the products, and I feel like they could have gotten better people to... To sponsor this. So with that, I will not be buying any of the Morphe 2 products. I don't need it and it doesn't, it just doesn't appeal to me. I want makeup. I do really love some of Morphe's products. I have a whole bunch of their brushes. I have a couple of their eyeshadow palettes. When the first Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette came out, that was the first time I ever waited in line online to buy something and I used and abused that palette. I absolutely Loved it. One of my first videos that I made was using that palette. <laughs> Ooh, but Morphe too. Nay nay. Selena Gomez is coming out with her own makeup brand called Rare Beauty. Oh god. So first of all, like Smoky Glow talked about this a little bit, but the Instagram account for Rare Beauty has a million subscribers and that is more than likely because this is an old recycled account from Selena Gomez from like one of her previous tours or something like that and they just recycled it into the Rare Beauty account so it already had a million followers. Rare Beauty, they haven't released any pictures of what products they're going to be coming out with but from the looks of it, the vibes it's given off to me is it's going to be another makeup, no makeup brand. Um, <laughs> When I think of Selena Gomez, I don't think of makeup. This is kind of giving me flashbacks to Florence by Mills, except for even less appealing. Oh. Selena Gomez recently came out with a little ad video for the new beauty line, and in the ad video, she does not seem enthusiastic about this whatsoever. There's like a gray filter on the video. She's kind of dressed like a grandma. Like this is not exciting to me. I've never really been a huge Selena Gomez fan. I've never really disliked her or anything like that. I feel like she's a good person, but this makeup line just does not appeal to me. Mm. Some things that I do like in her ad video, she mentioned that this is for girls and boys, which is nice that she's putting in some inclusivity into it. It also says here they're donating 1% of annual Rare Beauty sales to Rare Impact Fund, which is for, let's see here, I guess it's for like mental health. Yeah, it says here the global organizations that have a direct impact on well-being of this amazing community. So she is donating 1% of annual Rare Beauty sales to charity, which is also really nice. They haven't even released any product photos and I I feel like I'm just really not gonna like this. It doesn't appeal to me. Just by Selena Gomez's ad video, I'm not, I'm not turned on for this. I'm not excited about it. I don't like it and I'm probably not gonna buy it. Huda Beauty came out with a $55 highlighter. It's shaped like a rose. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I've seen other people purchase this and the highlighter looks pretty big. Um, it's $55. I don't need it, and I'm not gonna buy it. Patrick Star. Okay, so... <laughs> Patrick Star recently came out with his makeup remover wipes and his makeup melt-off mist. The makeup wipes I will not be purchasing. The mist, they just now released a smaller travel size version of it on Sephora for like $18. I may try that. Maybe. But recently, Patrick Star just came out with an eyeshadow palette. I really like Patrick Star. I feel like he's a good person and he's done a lot for the beauty community. I feel like he's been pretty uncontroversial and I like him. This eyeshadow palette, however, I it's pretty. It's really pretty, but I feel like I just don't, I don't need it. Maybe after I watch a couple more people use it and play around with it, I may purchase it. But for right now, I don't, I don't need it. So, BH Perfect Cosmetics is releasing a Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette by Stacey Marie MUA. This palette consists of 40 shades and they are absolutely beautiful. You have like almost every single color of the rainbow in here. You have greens and blues, purples, oranges, there's a matte black color. I really like the shades in here. This palette retails for $49.95 and it's really pretty. Slay, I may be buying this. 
So I'll end this video there on a good note. The purpose of this video is just to remind you guys that you do not need to purchase every new product that comes out. There's some things that look good and there's some things that just don't. You are entitled to your own opinion and you can spend your money however you want to. Okay, okay. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Everything that I have on my face will be in the description box down below, just so you know. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Bye. Nay, nay. Nay, nay.